Hey guys, we have a new character today, and or tomorrow rather, but the information for the new character is out. I think it's the new Integrity Knight. It's called Nidreus, or Nerdre Genius. I don't know, one of them. I'm not really good at pronouncing the name if I haven't heard it before. So, anywho, it's the green one, right? It's the green character, the green Integrity Knight. The first one was the blue one. Oh, hell, we got that, too. So that's kind of good. All right. So anyways, um, they have new illustrations. I really don't care about those. I bought one, but I don't think it's important. To be honest, I'm sitting here. I'm like, uh, nope. All right. So here is the, it's called the Green Spearman. And, or the Dark Green Spearman. And the character is a, C A B character. So that's what he essentially looks like. We've seen him before and it looks like it's going to have a green event that's coming soon. So, it's a C A B character. Looking at it at first glance in my opinion, oh okay, never mind. Uh the first attack is the incarnate and that slashes all enemies, deal 15% added damage on allies inflicted with continuous damage. Oh, bam! That's going to be like one of those Dark Edis things. You combine Dark Edis with him, right? So anyways, you, you got that 15% from the incarnation. So you want to do whatever attack. And then you have 20% increase in damage. When recollection field of win is three or more. The Imagerarium is a 10% charging character. Special partner partners with Administrator. So I guess that's kind of beneficial because my uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! There hasn't been any good Yu-Gi-Ohs lately for the green element. Anyways, but there is a quite a bit of Yu-Gi-Ohs in there. All right, so Full Moon Locus it's a, is the charge. And it does 20% charge for incarnation. It has the same thing as Izcon, right? You know, raises attack and Yuki. Raises attack by 7% up to 30%. Capped at 30%. Capped at 30% raises by 7% each turn. Now, if you use something else to raise the attack, it will still go up to 30%. So that's kind of good. Inflicts continuous damage. Water, I mean, wind continuous damage. Now, this is a regular continuous damage. It's not that super continuous damage that Edis has. So just kind of keeping that in mind. Raise his own attack for Assault by 7%. Capped at 30%. Same thing with Assault. Does it to a single enemy. This is an extra strong attack. Deals 15% added damage. On enemies inflicted with continuous damage. So you want to inflict it. The enemy with continuous damage. Then assault. But. Most of the time on CAB characters. Why would you use assault? Right? I mean the main thing for CAB character. Usually generally speaking is. Is. Uh, is charge or break. So using assault is kind of. You know. Doesn't happen much. But I'm not saying it can't happen. Uh, raises attack for break. This is the break back rush B. Raises on attack by 7%, capped at 30% for two turns. So only two turns. Slashes the enemy with a strong attack. So not an extra strong, but just regular strong. Lowers additional increment on enemies inflicted with continuous damage. What's that supposed to mean? So... I Oh, okay, so I guess that it's going to break the enemy more. So right now, it only breaks it at 47.5%. I mean, 47, yeah, 47.5, I assume it's going to go up to uh, 40, I mean, 50%. And then it has additional increment break on enemies inflicted with continuous damage. So I don't know how much that could go up to. Obviously, clearly. Incarnate skill, divine weapon, budding storm, and that's the one I was talking about. It increases, deals 
I mean, increases damage by 15% with when enemies are inflicted with continuous damage. Imaginarium charge by 10%. That might be a beneficial thing. So if you have the administrator, or you have him, you have to have the administrator. Increases attack of all win elemental party members by 5%. Now... Philia is there, or you can get it out of the scout, but you might not even want to use her because she's kind of useless, depending on what happens. Kirito, obviously that one you have to have or should have. Now, this is the one that is partner, right? She's a magical character, so it kind of doesn't make sense because... She's a magical character. And then you're you're combining it with a physical character. Which means that it can be problematic. I don't know. They might come out with an, another administrator. And then some of the other green stuff. So at first glance, I don't know. I mean, he looks okay. He kind of reminds me of Tise. The CAB Tise. The non-elemental Tise. It looks like they just basically took Tise out the picture, and then replaced it with this dude, right? And then put him as a green one. That's what I think anyways. His speed is 310. Obviously, you could upgrade it. It'll go higher. Reminds me of t -Say. So, I don't know. I mean, you'll have to wait until the character comes and then use him once or twice to see how, how it works, right? Because even if I look at t -Say, it doesn't even tell that much much about the character because okay let me just get that and we'll go here so let me go here and we'll look at the non-elemental tse and tse holy shit i don't have tse oh no wait tse is a repair i put it on sword okay so you know same thing with this right what's this okay look at the c attack oh okay so it's not good as Tse. So that one, this, look, the Tse increases incarnate charge when enemies are inflicted with continuous damage. That would mean that's why she can get to 100 in one hit. But the other guy doesn't have it. So he'll never increase the incarnate charge. But he has a Magirarium that is based on charge. And Tse has that too, right? I mean... See? Same thing. But that guy has the break. Which means that guy will be focused on the break. Increasing in break. Which kind of sucks. Because your Magirarium is based on increasing charge. And then your main focus is on the break. I don't know. I mean, from the first glance of it, it doesn't look good. I don't like it. I mean, it's there. Obviously, if you get it, that's great. But at first glance, I'm just sitting here and I'm thinking... That's a bad idea because you want everything to align, right? I mean, if you want your charge character, you want everything charged. Let's say you have a charge character, right? Um, you want uh, your attack to charge. You want your Magirarium to charge. You have, you might want your accessory to charge. You want everything to charge, right? I mean, the worst thing that can happen is if you have a certain character and then what happens is that you split things up, right? I mean, you have half charge, right? That's the worst thing. It's kind of like, reminds me of a Pokemon game I, I used to play, right? My friends keep asking me, why do you have, um, why do you only, what do you call it? My friend used to ask me, why do you only level one Pokemon? To like level 90 or level 60 or whatever. I don't even remember what the level was. But basically, why do you level 1 Pokemon up there? And then all your other Pokemon is like level 20, right? And I'm like, well, the level 90 can kill all the, all the, all the, uh, all the other Pokemons. And then all my other Pokemon is going to get DA EXP anyway. So I might as well just... Level 1 Pokemon, why should I level up all the Pokemons, right? When you spread it out, right? Let's say all your Pokemon is at level 30. And 
you know, you go get, you go fight a level 40 boss, and then, you, you know, you might die. I mean, if I have one level 90, and everybody else is level 20, <laughs> my level 90 can kill the level 40. So that's essentially um, how I play, and I feel that character that we were just looking at is kind of spread out. So we'll see what happens. Obviously, I think that the next ranking event will be basically, well, mo well mostly based on breaking the enemy. I don't know what's going to happen, but we no, wait, we don't have a good break character. Because the only break character, the yell break character on the on the green element is Kirito. And he is one of those slow... The, he's old, right? He's like one of the free characters that you get in the game. And he is slow. And not only is he slow, he is... Um, I don't know. He sucks. Right? I mean, I don't have anything else to say that he sucks and he's slow. <laughs> right? There should be a new character. And he has no active link, right? I guess some of the other characters don't have active link too. But that was the first free character that can yell charge or yell break. I mean, you couldn't do that with regular character. I mean, free characters back then. But he, they released a character like that, surprisingly. Let me just get this out of the way because I want to do this before that thing ends. All right. So let's go back into my green line of characters. Luckily, we have Kirito already. So he's kind of good. And we got, what's her name? And we got her. And yeah, this is the only Yell Break character I have. And this is the only Yell Break character that is there. Will you need him? I don't know. Do you want to take him to level, I mean, 120? Probably not. I mean... It, there's a possibility that you might want to, but most likely you don't want to. All right, I don't know. You have to see until it happens, but we do have a administrator, that's, so that's kind of good. And I'm holding off some of the other characters here too. One, two. I don't have Philly on this account. So I have most of the green characters are on this account, except the newer characters. Oh, I don't have Dark Edis on this account. That is the bad thing. I mean, you might not even want the, the the green character. You might want to save up for Edis if you don't have Edis because Edis looks like she's more important than than uh, the green character, the new guy. All right. So, anyways, I just wanted to go over the new character that's coming soon. And from the looks of it, he doesn't look that important. Most CIABs have been there. I mean, some of them are good. Right, but none of them was like must have kind of thing, right? Most of the must have characters are the enhanced mode characters, like Edis. And I don't know, most of them are just enhanced mode characters. And I, I'm on here, which means that I need another 200 to go to step four, and then I need another 250 to go to step five. <laughs>